Speaker for Lakeland. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the Coots Emerson and Windsor borders were cleared before the Prime Minister invoked the Emergencies Act. It wasn't required for demonstrators to leave Ottawa either. Security and financial experts say there were no real threats to Canada and no suspicious financial activity. A lawyer who actually helped draft the act said it was unnecessary, that the burden of proof was not convincingly met, and that there was, quote, no evidence of a threat to the security of Canada. So what changed between the Prime Minister supporting it on Monday night and revoking it on Wednesday? Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Emergencies Act was essential to law enforcement success in ending blockades and protests across the country. We always said that we would not keep the Act in force for any longer than was necessary, and we made good on that commitment. And as we've said since the beginning, we're acting on the advice of law enforcement and giving them the tools they need. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to provide all of the enforcement tools that are required to maintain public safety. And I again want to thank all of the members of the RCMP and law enforcement for the exceptional job that they did. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Lakeland. Speaker, the Prime Minister implied protesters were terrorists. On Friday, the Deputy Director of FinTrack was asked if terrorists were using crowdfunding platforms to launder money. He said, quote, we haven't seen them, it's not a high risk. But Canadians' accounts were frozen and sweeping powers were put in place. Last week, Conservatives asked if the Liberals got a legal opinion. The Justice Minister just said that he felt standards were met, which is, of course, not an actual legal assessment. So I'll ask again, will the Liberals released the legal opinion to Canadians and what changed in 36 hours. The Honourable um, Minister. Of, uh... Mr. Speaker, the Emergencies Act was, was brought in in, 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 in the mid-80s in direct response to the, to the Charter of Rights and Freedoms in this country. It provides for rigorous parliamentary oversight both in, in this place and in the other place. It also provides for a review. And, Mr. Speaker, most importantly, the, the Act requires that every measure that is undertaken under the Act be compliant with the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Mr. Speaker, we will always respect the Charter.